Hi guys, I'm Hi. Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the most beautiful car in the world. Yes, you heard me right. We're on the Koenigsegg stand at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. The Regera behind me is painted in blue. The carbon fiber is blue. Even the interior has blue Alcantara. We're going to take a proper look around the car. Probably one of my favorite color combos it could be finished in. We've seen the car before itself, but there is a party trick that I'd like to show you. So don't go away. Stay tuned. You're going to want to see this one even if you've seen it before seriously watch it again so let's get started and take a look around the Koenigsegg Regera Let's get started with a little bit of a recap if you aren't familiar with the Koenigsegg Regera. I've shot a video here with Christian von Koenigsegg himself, but also out in the car going for the first ever drive in it from the factory in Angelholm, Sweden, where they are created, designed, engineered, and finally built. So the Regera was introduced here at the Geneva Motor Show a couple of years ago. It's a development from their earlier models, from the CC8, the CCR, the CCX, into the Agera, the Agera RS, and the limited editions we've seen more recently but the Regera, there are going to be 80 of them, and it has the most complicated engineering and powertrain setup of probably any production car that you can buy. Yeah, yeah. There is a 5-litre twin-turbocharged V8 that makes 1,100 horsepower, but that is not it. This car is a hybrid. There is an additional 700 horsepower coming from 66 kilos of batteries and electric motors. There is some very fun technology that goes with it. Now, actually, I should just rewind. I know what you're thinking. 1,100 horsepower, 700 Newton meters in theory makes 1800, but due to the way the car works, you have a max output at any time of 1500 horsepower, which effectively means that the wheels, the rear wheel drive um, driven wheels, will be spinning and lighting up all the way up to 250 kilometers an hour. You name it. Expect that this car has the most ludicrous of top speeds almost imaginable. It's not been officially tested, but the thing that is known is that it is very, 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 very fast. Off the line, it will just get moving even when we drove it on snow it was remarkably impressive but the way the gearbox works is perhaps the most interesting thing Koenigsegg's direct drive technology basically there is no gearbox it is one gear for forwards all the way through from say naught to 400 kilometers an hour absolutely crazy as we look around it though just to take this in the car has this wonderful blue paintwork truly truly striking color combined with the gorgeous dark blue exposed carbon fiber so all of the exposed areas you can see are this unfinished, or, sorry, finished, but carbon fibre with a neat lined up V at the rear. I like the way the uh, stalks or struts for the rear wing are left in the natural black colour, as is the lower section of the car. One other thing that's quite fun is that is not an exhaust. That is the exhaust. That's for the hot air from the battery, uh, from the motors and batteries to come out. This is the sound developed by Akrapovich, the almost fin-like exhaust system that weighs next to nothing. Second generation of the air core carbon fiber wheels weigh also next to nothing. Basically the entire car is incredibly light. But come and look at the inside of this, finished in dual tone blue Alcantara in here. The lighter and the darker blue. There are four different blues on this car. This is astonishing. This is, if you like blue, this is heavenly. Look at the interior, the dashboards. We had a little glimpse of these as well before. Very, very, very nice displays. But let me just step away for a moment just to take in the entire car really. Around the front you've got that carbon fiber front splitter. It's a very cool thing and you can see that the roof has been removed. There is a fixed roof panel which actually sits away and tucks into the front bonnet. So when you have this clam opened up, there is just the right amount of space for the roof to be removed and placed into there. Distinct features of Koenigseggs, the center wiper, that very curved around windscreen that you have going all the way around the side, enclosing the driver inside the pass in and passenger inside the cabin, and the doors, the way that they open up is magnificent. We'll see that again in a second as well. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, but it is party trick time. So I hope you're ready for this. Let me go and grab the key and give you a demonstration. In my hand here, we have the key for the Koenigsegg Regera. What I want to show you though right now is if I press this button, watch what happens. The door opens from the key. If I press this button, the passenger door also opens. How ridiculous is this that you can do this from the key? Just to close this back up so you can see the mechanism at work here. Press the button, the door is motorized. They have detection systems, they won't let you hit them on the ground, it will detect if you're opening it towards the ground. But that is just the most incredible thing. But get this, if I press here, 
watch the rear clamp. The entire clamp of the car opens up with hydraulic motors, hydraulics and motors <laughs> controlled from the key of the car. And then we can see the five litre V8 back there. But look at the wealth of carbon fiber inside the rear of this car. How you can see the suspension system straight through the back here, sitting behind the engine. It's mounted low and deep inside the car, making over a thousand horsepower just from that. That is an incredible thing. And then you can press the button again and down it will go. You can see the raw carbon fiber finish or, or, or the, 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 the rear clam is actually made from. And we've also got the ability here, well, let me just close the doors again as well, just so you can see those in action, to open up the front of the car as well. And take a look in there. This is all done from the key of the car. It is the most incredible thing and sight to behold. The clam opens up. I'm just going to put that back down, though, because I would like to show you coming around to the rear of the car actually, the full party trick mode that happens when you press the bottom button, the ghost button. First, a quick double press of lock to put the wing down, go into play, and then it's the ghost button at the bottom and full party trick mode. <laughs> How cool is that? It transforms rear clam, front clam, and then both doors, and the car is fully opened up. <laughs> That's just a lot of fun that you can do that. And then obviously you can close it all back down. So the front, the rear, the door, and the other door. One piece at a time. Oh, I missed the button on the front there. There we go. Closing down and <laughs> back to normal. A car that can do that, it is the ultimate party trick in the world. Now, I better give the key back so I don't run off with it. With the driver door back open, just let's take one last little look around the inside of this car. Obviously not sitting in it right now, but you've got the carbon fiber tub on which it's based. Obviously strength, rigidity, lightness by having the full carbon. You have these huge wide side sills, which give you a massive sense of hypercar feel when you climb in and step into it. The center, the way the cup holders are illuminated inside that design. The screens have access to a whole host of information. There's a lot to see and be able to control and play with inside here. The digital display gives you a variety of different things. You can see it goes up to 450 kilometers an hour at the top end on the dashboard, but it will also almost virtually show you revving. A lot of people have asked before, why does it have paddles if it doesn't have a gearbox and gears? Well, the reason actually is that it has a, a, a synchro system where you pull it and it gives the sensation of revving. It's quite a bizarre thing. You'll have to see my video going out in the car with Christian von Koenigsegg to see a little bit more of that. But this is just exceptionally cool. It's the party trick hypercar that is very, very blue, which is right up my street if you know me at all. And well, basically, I love it. It does that. Nothing else in the world does what a Koenigsegg does. And then you can only imagine how quick it goes. If you've seen the Regera, sorry, the Agera RS top speed record over 270 miles per hour. Well, I wonder what this will be capable of. Back here. Back here at the rear of the car, you also have the charger port that you can open up. Carbon fiber even inside there. Oh, gotta watch out, the rear clam is closing down as well. There are even Koenigsegg logos just inside there. It all just motorizes and moves around. You can see the aero of these diffuser veins down at the bottom at the rear of the car. Fascinating to watch it all moving in place elegantly, slowly, with style. Let's also take a look at the other Regera that is on the stand right now too, because this is fitted with the new Ghost package. So it has an extended front splitter, the new canards you can see around here, and also at the rear, I'll come back there actually, you've got the winglets that are installed at the back. So as well as those, it has a slightly sus stiffer suspension setup, and also a variation to the active suspension. Remember that the car has a suspension system that is GPS based. It knows where you are and what you're doing and how you're driving, and it will adjust based on that. And also, it does our favorite party trick as well. I could just watch this all the time. 
it is fascinating to see the car opening up and then the doors go. Take a quick glimpse at the interior of this car. It's got the orange leather interior rather than the Alcantara, matching with these gentle orange accents that it has around the exterior of the car as well. Very, very smart and fascinating or fantastic to see in action. Closing up again now. <laughs> it just makes me chuckle. So it closes back down the car with a slightly smaller exposed stripe on the front this time round. Koenigsegg crest on the nose of the bumper. Spotted around the corner is this Koenigsegg CCX and this is actually a car we have seen before and that I have driven before on Koenigsegg's runway with this exhaust system back here spitting out some ginormous flames. It's actually been fully restored, completely perfect. It's beautifully clean, lovely, lovely car, new trim to the interior, new leather. It's actually for sale um, as well at the moment. Also, the paintwork is spectacular, awesome finish again blue but let's head back over to the blue regira for a final wrap up i don't really want to say goodbye to it it is beautiful perfection a gorgeous gorgeous car the regira very very nice the looks at first when it launched were a little bit i don't know they took time to get accustomed to but now that we are i think the design especially the way you have all these ducks highlighted by the carbon accents inside it is stunning so there we have it the koenigsegg regira big thanks to koenigsegg for letting me hold the key and have a little go with that and try out the party trick mode as i'm going to call it from now on opening up all of the panels with their motors on the koenigsegg regira absolutely crazy anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching make sure you're subscribed for plenty more from the geneva motor show that is it for this time though i will see you again very very soon cheers